it's not working. Hello, wrestling fans. Hi, everybody. Harry Potter fans. I'll get it working. <laughs> Thanks right. for joining us tonight for Wednesday's AEW Dynamite. I'll probably just play some Hogwarts Legacy, but Travis is going to be talking about the wrestling that is started and is on, of course, on uh, AEW. We do have a couple people in the chat. We've got Walter with us. Sophie is with us as well for just a minute, maybe. Walter says, hey, Travis, hi, Daphne, AEW Dynamite. Good matches. Daphne, I didn't win bingo, but Saturday they're doing more bingo. Yeah. Well, good luck for Saturday then, Walter. I apologize. Sorry you didn't quite get any wins today. That's sad. So he says, hi, how was your day? And Walter says, Excalibur, Taz, and Tony on commentary. And Sophie says, The Rock versus Cody is rumored to be the mania main event for next year and so he says a screen saying no device yeah i'll fix it yeah. i'm working on it he thought he had it well i did have it now i don't know working why it's not and working. then it stopped working so oh well we did a test run and it worked and now it's not so <laughs> oh, it's working great now i just got to get out of here so i can <laughs> walter here, says yes fight fight on aew yep what are they starting out with tonight Dear Lord, it's just everywhere. Get away. Just go away. <laughs> Everything is broken. Well, it was working. So you guys with all your technical problems. <sighs> right? Yeah, well, you know, that's what happens when you do this kind of stuff. And you have to switch it between doing other things. It doesn't always work out as well as you'd hope. And since we don't make millions of dollars, you know, like some of your other YouTube people that you follow do, we well, don't have that great of stuff. So we do what we can with what we have. So if it's like, now we don't see your beautiful faces. I yeah. tried to get it over there. Nobody wants to see your faces. Okay. Walter says, okay, at 9 I'm going. I'll be here Monday for Raw Friday movie. Won't be here. Oh, awesome. Going and seeing a Friday movie. Let's see. Last Wednesday, they're talking about because they've got the supposed AEW champion out there. He supposedly gave the beat down to uh, poor, uh, what's his face? What is his face? Uh, swerve, swerve, swerve. Oh, he got him. Swerve came out and attacked JoJo. Old JoJo pants. Is this Janelle live? in the chat. Hey, Janelle says, everybody think we're going to really see the footage of what happened between CM Punk and Jack Perry? Like, why do we care anymore? Right. Well, it's because Tony Khan cares, Janelle. And when Tony Khan cares, he has to be the smaller man <laughs> and pretend that he can make it better. So it's a it's a very uh, weird thing, but whatever. Uh, Sophie says a couple main roster stars, uh, main roster stars showed up on NXT last night. Yeah, that can happen. I mean, they kind of go back and forth when they're doing stuff like this after Mania. So he says, I think AEW will lose some fans after tonight. Walter says, Uncle Howdy might be back in WWE. Oh, no. I feel like that's just weird, Walter, to, like, do that. I, I feel like they should just let Bray legacy be what it was and let it rest and not try to live on the coattails of his death basically i i, I kind of find it disgusting it's, going on. it's kind of gross <laughs> maybe that's just me though <laughs> i find it kind of gross but um Let's see, Sophie says that, and Janelle says, I almost didn't see you guys at first. I have to look in the corner. Yeah, yeah. it's just me on there. Sorry. We're, I was going to be playing a game. Um, just Joe came out, if you're looking for what's happened on AEW. Uh, Samoa Joe came out, and Swerve came out and attacked him, just kind of like how Joe did it last time. Uh, and, of course, they're doing some background stuff that happened with Orange Cassidy and the Best Friends. Uh, what's his face attacked Orange Cassidy Trent did after the match so I'm guessing he's pretending he's going to go out on his own or whatever because um, he attacked him right away and uh, didn't look like the other guy was like what's happening and then mom was like what's your problem mom <laughs> so 
And I don't know, I thought Chris Statlander wasn't even around Orange anymore. Like, remember how Orange Cassidy was, like, part of their group? Like, or, or Chris Statlander kind of was with him, but then she kind of just did her own thing? I didn't even think that they were going to be together. Right? That's weird. Sophie says, at the rate you were going uh, with the game, you could be done by the summer. Maybe Walter says they postponed an MLB game here due to bad weather. Not the weather, Walter. Pop up. Sophie says Dustin Rhodes versus Samoa Joe. Was that what was going to happen? I know that it's supposed to be Samoa Joe versus Swerve Strickland on Dynasty. Their next pay-per-view. Walter wants Adam Copeland for the win. I'm guessing Adam Copeland is going to be coming out to uh, whatever his title that he supposedly has. Is that who's up? I don't know. Oh, Sarah Miro is out there. A uh, vindicator in the chat. Hey, Ben says, hello, no signal. How are you doing today? You see Delitha or Travis with them. No, I stopped by and we'll be back in 30 minutes. All right, we'll see you in 30. Sophie says it'll be interesting to see what this footage does to the rating. And Sophie says, Dustin Rose versus Samoa Joe tonight. That's kind of a weird grouping, but whatever. P. Cole is in the chat as well. Hey, P. Cole says, oh, there you are. Yeah, I'm just in the little corner. Hey, don't mind me. <laughs> Robbie says, what have you done? Where have you gone? Is this all you have for me? Yep. Feels like looking around and see you in the left-hand corner. <laughs> it's me! I'm tiny! <laughs> yeah. So, Travis had everything fucking working. Everything working and perfectly fine. <laughs> and we went live, and the game system won't talk to the stuff anymore. Yeah. Who knows? <laughs> Uh, so it's like, just give up and try again later. Robbie says, come on, make it bigger. Yeah, well. Yeah, it's everybody's favorite guy, supposedly. Mr. Adam Copeland. That ass crack guy. I'm not a fan. Hey, what's going on, buddy? Yeah. <sighs> so if it's like, if that happened to me, I would have given up and wait to play the next day. Oh, it's not that big of a deal. It's still up there. It's just not where you guys can see it. Like, the signal's not coming through. Walter says, uh, Daphne, just in corner, no Travis, but I hear him. Yeah, he's, yeah, I'm around. he's here. <laughs> Uh, Robbie says, come on, make it bigger. Robbie says, Adam fighting some avatar. Yeah, that's Ciro Miro or whatever his name is. Um, Sophie says, they released the Joker 2 trailer last night. Huh, who's playing the Joker now? Bernie Sanders. Oh my God, got a good one. <laughs> trying to think who uh what is his name Bernie Sanders? no 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 the guy that that they got to play him Joaquin uh, no it wasn't him because it was Jared Leto oh Joaquin Phoenix plays the Jar the Joker now yeah it was Jared Leto that played it in the one with that girl right I, I haven't watched it since it was what's his I'm name? pretty sure it was him pretty sure but who knows so he says how do we know how good or bad you're doing with the game I'm not playing it I'm just standing I'm not even I don't have a controller in my hands people says what's it like over in your neck of the woods what do you mean like like weather wise it's sunny actually it wasn't too bad today it was like mediocre winds blown a little bit I think it got up to like almost 50, didn't it? Maybe. Something like that? I don't know. Walter says, if I see any lightning in Georgia, I'm going, but just rain's still here. I don't blame you, Walter. Sophie says, Lady Gaga is playing Harley Quinn. Oh, that's weird. Really? Robbie says, D is so small, not even using a magnifying glass would make her bigger. Nice. Picola's like, sure. What are we sharing about, Picola? 
Oh, I guess it almost got to 60 today. My bad. So it's like my mom is coming home from the hospital tomorrow. I didn't even know your mom was in the hospital. Sorry to hear your mom was in the hospital. Hopefully she was okay. Didn't you just watch WrestleMania with her? That's weird. Bobby says it was cold and rainy in my area of the UK. Sounds terrible. Brandon Stevens is in the chat. Brandon says timeless Tony Storm. Pico says all. Oh, Leto as the Joker was a complete lack of a better term. You fill in the blank. Oh. Well, he can't be a... I don't know. I just feel like he's too pretty to be a Joker, so... But I guess Heath Ledger was too. But he kind of was crazy as his, so I don't know. Anyways, uh, if you're just joining AEW Dynamite, they have Ciro Miro uh, up against Adam Copeland for that... Is it TNT? Or is it TBS? Uh, uh, women's is TBS. Okay, so the TNT TV championship... Oh, excuse me. Oh, my goodness. Dynasty. Dynasty. And then Okada is going to be in action tonight, but we don't know for what. Um, yep, you're going to see Timeless Tony, I suppose. They're going to have Mariah May versus Anna J tonight. What? The house might explode. That's a spank fest. All right. Huh. Let's see. Just, just Joe on earlier. Um, Advanced. Walter says, I'm glad AW Collision is the Saturday NCAA men is over. Yep, UConn won. Brandon Stevens in the chat says, Brandon Stevens, Mary Willow Nightingale. Sophie says, she went into the hospital yesterday after falling twice. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I'm glad she's coming home then. Nothing broke or anything. That's good. Robbie says, was just Joe on earlier? He was, Robbie. Uh, Samoa Joe was on earlier. He came down to say something and got attacked by Swerve Strickland. Um, he calls us awful weather. We had some storms and tornado warnings and such. Ugh. I'm sorry to hear that. That sounds caca and not fun at all. And as Sophie says, congrats to you, Con. Robbie says, TBS, any good shows on this channel? You know, I have no idea. I don't watch. Oh, well, Big Bang's on here. Yeah, but that's not like a... I mean, those are just rerun shows, so I don't know. Pico says, all res in the South. Hmm. Janelle says, I had a good time at WrestleMania. Cody Rhodes finally finished the story so people can stop crying about it. Um, um, I'll Roman Reigns get to take some nice time off he deserves. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Sophie says, surprising fact, the women's college basketball game drew higher ratings than the men's college basketball game. Walter says, prayers for you, Sophie. And Sophie says, it looks like it is going to rain here. Demian Priest re-signed with the WWE. Is it because they let him have a title for a second? No. Walter says, if the game doesn't work, just do full screen. <laughs> we'll get there. Pico's like, so odd. What is it? What's odd, Pico? What, what's the oddness? Robbie says, I have TBS on my magic box with a lot of American channels, but only ever watch TBS for AEW. Eh, I mean, sometimes I'll play, they have some sports on there. They they have, um, I don't know if they have their own shows. I know they do movies and reruns of other sitcoms and stuff like that, so I don't know. Sophie says, Roman isn't scheduled to come back to WWE TV until the night before SummerSlam. And Pico says, man, that Roman doc was really good. Nice. I didn't know there was one. Yeah, I thought they, they talked about the Roman, a Roman documentary, but... Sophie says there is a report that the Damien Priest cashed in was planned six months ago. Mm, it could have been. I mean, at some point, they had to, like, pull it off because either it becomes irrelevant or he uses it, so... Anyways, they're in picture in picture on AEW Dynamite. What it is is it's uh, that Zero Miro, Zero Miro, whatever his name is. I can't remember his name. Penta. Penta, that's it. Penta, and then uh, uh, Adam Copeland guy. I don't know. I think this is for a chance at the, yeah, the TNT Championship, yes, is on the line. I wasn't sure. I thought it was, but... Uh, Leslie Pico says, when do you have time to watch TV, Robbie? Right? <laughs> like, I don't, so. 
And if I do watch TV, it's what we're doing right now. Right. Or other times when I watch a movie. Robbie says, what move does the main guy from Avatar have? Uh, like what other movies is he in? No, moves. That he's talking about, Penta. Oh. Because he's so blue. <laughs> okay. He's calling him Avatar <laughs> from the movie. He's being a smart butt. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. Um, I don't really know. He jumps around a lot. Is that, that's good, right? Walter says, did you see the media WrestleMania AJ Styles and LA Knight got in a brawl? That was cool. Yeah, I did see that. Sophie says, that means if the Damien Proust was planned six months ago, that means he could cash in on CM Punk at Mania. I watch a lot of TV. It depends on what mood I'm in to watch. Janelle says, right now I'm watching This Is Us, which makes me laugh, but it makes me cry, but mostly makes me cry. Oh. Why would you want to watch something that makes you cry? What is it? Uh, This Is Us. This is us. Some show. Walter says, it's Sub-Zero. <laughs> there you go. That too, Walter. So he says, at least we are seeing a black screen. Yeah. It's yeah, way I took better. that other thing off. Yeah, I don't know why it's just not there. It's like, nope. How strange. It was there when I was doing it. I was like, oh, okay, got it. First, yeah, I know. That's what back. you said. You have it all working. Yeah, I don't know. Sorry, guys. So, if it says this is also a great show, I watched the entire series when it was on live. Robbie says, oh, Cola, I don't have time, but I figured D might know some recommendations. I just mainly watch sports or comedies. Don't have any recommendations, Robbie, because guess what? You probably watch more TV than I actually do. Yeah. No, seriously. You probably do. And when I do actually watch, move, like, watch TV... The TV I watch is usually a movie or sports because it's wrestling, UFC, boxing, <laughs> that kind of stuff. So I don't watch a lot of TV. I don't even know new shows that are on. So good luck. So if he says White Collar is on Netflix, Janelle says my friend wanted to put me on This Is Us and I listened to him, which is my own fault. Well, I mean, if he felt it was a good recommendation for you, then I mean, it works. Walter says, go out and beat Penta. Sophie says, I only saw the first episode of White Collar. Eh, I I think I may have heard of it. I don't know. That's an older show too, right? I can't remember what it is. I couldn't even pretend to help. Right? I have no idea either, so. Uh, Sophie's like, what other video games do you have? What? Yep, there you go. Lots of different video games, Sophie. Like, hundreds of video games. I don't know where it's at. I don't play all of them, though. Janelle says, is it a smart thing for Jake Paul to fight Mike Tyson? Yeah, they're just making money. Not really, it's but kind of I'm sure it'll be set up in for his safety. Uh, let's see. Robbie says, LOL, if you find a UK comedy called Back About Two Brothers, it's worth watching. So funny. Okay. It just disappeared. Oh my goodness. <laughs> We're just going to give up. Bye. <laughs> just kidding. Anyways, we're still during that uh, uh, first match of the night, guys, The for the TNT Championship. Adam Copeland against Pentagram. Um, they're out of the ring, both getting count. Pentagram? Yes. Pentagram. Pentagram. <laughs> oh, Pentagram. Well, they're not there to talk, so I'm doing it. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> it's like, I'm over here, guys. <laughs> I'm so far away. It's too big. Gotta... I gotta fix things, but you I gotta know, give me but... a shot. Uh, let's see. Let's... Sophie says, have you ever finished an entire video game? Yes, Sophie. I have finished an entire video game I'm pretty, before. I'm pretty sure the only one that I've ever really finished is Super Mario Brothers and Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. Uh -uh. I beat 
Oh no, you couldn't. I thought you finished that one in like 24 hours, and then you couldn't ever play. The oh other no, no, ever no! Again. There was no finish. Oh, I played it for 24 hours and never played it again. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Yeah, no shot at finishing that shit. Right. Once again, we're in picture in picture for a commercial on AEW Dynamite. It's still that first match of the night of Adam Copeland with the TNT Championship against Penta. We'll see who wins. I can't imagine who it's going to be. <laughs> so, Walter says WWE 2K games are co good. Sophie says they are making a Monopoly movie. Margot Robbie is producing that mon Monopoly movie. Walter says Mike Tyson will win in first round. Oh, if it's real, I think he would also. Sophie says, yay, back to normal. You can see both of you now. P. Cola says, find myself searching a bit for older movies that I loved as a teen. Done it, P. Cola. <laughs> Travis and I do it quite often, actually. That's pretty much all I do. Yeah. Walter says, okay, much better setting. Um, well. Sophie says, how long did it take you to complete everything in a video game, and which video game was it? Um... Well, it, it was a very old school game called Fantasy Star Online. And I'm trying to, it probably took me, I don't know. I didn't play it like on a constant basis. Like it wasn't like it was 12 hours a day or something that I was, you know, playing it or anything. So, um, it was, uh, um. Probably over months, I guess you could say, that it took me to finish it. And it's pretty straightforward. It doesn't have, like, any weird side quests or anything. It's just kind of a, you go from here to here and that's it. There's no, like, but there's oh, other things that you can, Yeah, but there's an end. You you go to the very end and do a final boss. But the thing about it is, is I finished it multiple times on different levels. So I not only finished it on easy, normal, but I also did it on, finished it on hard. And extra hard like so it wasn't like I only finished it once I finished it multiple times with multiple characters I made multiple times <laughs> and multiple hardness levels so right. yeah I think Mario Brothers was the hardest game I ever played at the time obviously and it probably took like a year yeah. To finally get it. Because you have to learn everything. And back then there wasn't the internet where you could just watch them run through it real quick. True. And Because there's mazes at the end. Oh, yeah. Like there's the secret things or the extra through, little stuff. It's oh. just to get to the dragon, right? Oh. So you okay. have to go like middle, top, bottom. And if you do it wrong, you'll just go back to where you just started. Oh. And so okay. you'll run out of time. Ah. Okay. Or whatever it is, whatever the sequence is. The only way I could do it now is just do it without thinking. Because if I thought, then I would be like, fuck, I can't remember the order. Right. Just muscle memory it. Robbie says, my two fave video games of all time has to be Mario 3 and Street Fighter. Have them on my retro uh, pie quality games. Nice. So he says, that Mike Tyson, Logan Paul fight will be live on Netflix. Yeah. Is it going to be a pay-per-view on Netflix? I don't know. They, or is it just going to just happen? I don't know. I mean, if that's the case, then... <laughs> Anyways, uh, Robbie says, Travis, when you free in the day, fix the sound. Still a little distorted. Oh, shit. I even reset that Well, too that bad. One. You guys are all going to have to live with it tonight. Robbie says, cheers, bud. Sophie says, I'm bad at completing video games. I always miss something, but didn't notice until I see YouTube video of it. And we're back from that picture in picture, guys. Yeah. Uh, again, we're still seeing the TNT Championship game of Adam Copeland against Pinta. Now they're both down again. They're counting because, you know, they work too hard and they're tired. Not only is Ravi going into a coma, but the whole audience is in a coma as well because Adam Copeland sucks so bad that nobody cares he's there that the whole back seat of the audience doesn't give a flying fart that he's out there. This crowd is... It crickets. sounds like a school gymnasium. And look, they don't have the upper 
The yeah. crowd's just right there. See, of the upper? Uh-huh. There's nothing up there. Wow, this is sad. Like, this whole concept of AEW is on a fast track to garbage. Yeah, people. it's going to be in school gymnasiums here pretty soon. <clears throat> Pico says, lately the new version of Roadhouse came, as lately, since the new version of Roadhouse came out, YouTube reactors hopped onto the bandwagon and seen the OG, which is hilarious that they hadn't seen the OG before they had seen the new one. And I, I saw mixed reviews. Reviews of, it stands on its own if it's its own thing. And then other people are like, there's no way, and it doesn't, it doesn't flow. It moves too fast. And uh, and stuff. Um, and everybody, I think, made fun of Conor McGregor, like, the whole time. Like, I don't know how many memes of him I've seen. Conor McGregor. From that movie. Conor McGregor did not act. He played himself. Yeah, he just He literally said, just it. went out there and was himself. And people were like, is this normal? And, and I think they, they had to get told... But yeah, that's how he really is. It's, it's awful. And Who the fuck is everybody? That's the one I see, the meme I see all the time on everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's funny. It's when Josh funny. Allen shows up to training camp. <laughs> Who the fuck is everybody? Because <laughs> <laughs> they just traded his wide receivers away in Buffalo. Oh, shit. Goddamn. Diggs is in Houston kid. now. And oh, he, he's that like, poor guy. <laughs> so there's this kid on the internet who just is standing there, and he just throws the ball as hard as he can and just takes off running, and he catches it. Uh -huh. Like Josh Allen next year. <laughs> Doing it all himself. <laughs> poor guy. <laughs> They're like, we have no faith, and we got rid of all your good people. Poor guy. He totally got thrown under the bus, didn't he? Yeah. Jesus. They gave his best receiver up for a second-round draft pick. Off. They obviously have a first round, so they could take two. Oh, jeez. Like, Robbie says, this edge match is so bad, I'm slipping into a coma watching it. Robbie's like, LOL. So this is with some video games. If you complete everything, you get secret endings or weapons, depending on the game. Um, Yeah, I mean, you did get like something special at the end of the game from the final boss or whatever, <coughs> but eh. I got the princess in Mario Brothers. Well, you got to get Princess Peach. I mean, oh, in Mario 2, you woke better. up. I remember waking up. Robbie's like, Mario 2 was a bit strange. Yeah, it was a hard one. Blue Lantern's in the chat. Hey, Blue says, I wish they'd release the all-out footage, too. Hmm. Sophie says, with some games, the final boss I can never beat. Blue says, Mario 3 was awesome. Sophie says, no, it will be a Netflix pres presents thing. Oh, well. Blue says, OMG, I just bought that same clock you have, and I love it. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I like the countdown timer. That's what I use it for. Pico says, yeah, wow, Super Mario 3 was quite the milestone back then. Blue's like, Mario 3 and Skyrim. I wish AEW just would stay the football stadium they did during the pandemic. Pico says, Robbie, did Nintendo consoles in Europe, do they compete with PS and Xbox, etc.? And Sophie says, my fave franchise is Kingdom Hearts, and with Kingdom Hearts 1, I made it to the end but couldn't beat the final boss. Oh, that's sad. Now you could probably find out how to beat the final boss and go back and beat the final boss. But nobody wants to go back and play old games. Anymore. Yeah, Mark Tyson was a hard one for me. There's a bunch of them up there on Nintendos. Those mm -hmm. are all Nintendo games. It's over 100. Sophie says, I saw that John Cena, Zac Efron movie the other day. It was actually funny, which I'm surprised. <laughs> Ricky Stinnicky. Yeah, yeah, that was actually It was funny. okay. It was, like, funny, but not, like, overly funny. But it's it was, just, it's, okay. it's what you can expect from modern-day movies, like, it's true. You can't give it more than that. Oh, Copeland got out of it. Now he's got to take another nap. Don't worry, guys. Everybody's really excited about it, too. Oh, wait. Nobody is. They move too fast. And then if they want to make it good, they have to somehow, some reason, make it four hours long. I know. It's really strange. It's like you can't just make a movie. You know, it's in the old days. It's they because can't, they can't just let people have the story of their own. They have to put the whole story in the movie. I don't know what it is. It's just trash. Blue is what says it is. Mayweather and Logan Paul fight was fraudulent. Mayweather held Paul on his feet while he slightly knocked him out. It was yeah. for money. It was just about money. Especially for Mayweather. It all about money for him. He's a greedy little pig. Piccolo says, right, the current climate, new roadhouse is actually That's pretty it. fun if you get your head out of the bias of comparing it to the OG. 
Right, with the storytelling, like, or the lack of storytelling, but telling a story, mm -hmm. I cannot stand it. I don't understand it. I, I don't even know how to explain it, but I've seen it. Anytime you watch a movie that was made before, like, 1980, mm -hmm. you can sit down, you can watch it, and you know exactly what's happening without them telling you. Yep, it's true. And nowadays, when you sit down to watch a movie, they have to wordly tell you what's yeah, happening. Yeah, they have the actors. It's I literally fucking... written in the script for them to tell you what's going on. I can't at that stand moment. that shit. Right when they start it's doing so that, I'm like, ugh. Like, they're trying to explain why the bad guy's the bad guy or something. It's like, stop. Yeah, like, who cares? There should be a story of why the bad guy's yeah. the bad guy. Not tell without us. Without you telling me. Sophie says, I watch YouTube reactors reacting to shows I already have seen before, but for some reason, they never seen it before. Huh. Hey. Oh, hey. It's uh, Julia. Look behind you. Julia Gulia. I mean, Julia Hart. She's at AEW, or the other one, NXT. Julia Sophie. Gulia. <laughs> Julia Gulia. Sophie says, weren't there rumors of a kindergarten cop sequel? I guess. Sophie's like, yeah. Blue says, uh, Ricky Stenicki cracked me up. So it says, it. with the preview of that John Cena Zac Efron movie that came out, it makes sense why it didn't go into theaters. Didn't they try a Roadhouse reboot before? It wasn't necessarily a reboot. It was like Roadhouse 2 or something like that. It Another thing they could do if they really want to make some money off of it is just make it a series. Oh, fuck. And not make and not call him Dalton. Well, like, leave the name out of it have this series called Roadhouse and the concept be that it's just some side of the road rinky dink backwoods fucking bar that's in trouble with bad guys and, then, and you have a dude I don't care if his name's Billy Bob Jojo face corn fed Nebraskan wild, guy pretty wild name right there <laughs> but then at the end like you just can't get over and then you bring in Dalton and that ends it like that's the season finale yeah dalton walks in but they don't even show his face right he just walks in but it's like patrick swayze but from behind and then over and never have it again ninth year yeah just the ninth year yeah. <laughs> nine years of it damn well, that's what i'm saying like whatever years your finale seven <laughs> well that when you get everybody married <laughs> right you gotta get him married and pregnant so it can ruin everything, at least by the fifth season. Have drama and weird love triangles. Right. <laughs> so you can start hating it. All right, well, if you were just joining us, that first match was Adam Copeland against uh, Penta. Penta lost. Adam did continue to keep that TNT TV championship. Blue says they have to explain the movies because the writers learned more about gender than they did theater. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about anything after like 80, <laughs> by the way. Oh, be careful. Ravi says it's just the mouse came over here. So, Ravi says Edge looks like a recovering alcoholic fucked. You think? Well, that's nice of you to say. I think of more meth. Yeah, dude, like. That was, I've said it the whole time I've ever seen him. He does not look healthy in any way. What the Bet? Yeah, I was translating. Yeah, that wasn't awkward or weird. What? That was maybe. No, it was the Chris dumbest thing Shibata I've ever seen. Versus Shane Taylor Promotions. Yeah. Who are those guys? I remember Shane Taylor. Wasn't he on there before he was the boxer? Maybe. The, the other guy that was in the top right hand corner. Oh. Not Sean Taylor, but the other one. Maybe. I don't know. <clears throat> They're like, we don't want to show you the crowd, so we're going to show you the ceiling. Right? Because the crowd sucks. We sold over 200 tickets. They're like, don't worry. We're going to show you some stuff back in 2020 of what happened. It's fine. When we had no crowds. 
<laughs> or it made sense why we had no cut. Um, so Sophie says, well, some reboots of movies, they sometimes make it their own thing. And Pete Cole says, I think every Jericho segment is dry nowadays. Yeah, he needs to go back to making a list. It was way funnier. Yeah, he just needs to be funny. Now he's, he's just so like a weird, and old serious and gross character. And stupid and... He's like, Hook is my new best friend. Who he's mean to. Sophie says, I wonder how many people that watched the original Roadhouse watched the reboot. Two, at least. <laughs> There's two of them. <laughs> I didn't hate it, but I didn't try to compare it either. If anything in my head, what I would do was doing is like, okay, this is before he went to the other bar. Right, or something. Like, I tried my hardest not to, like, compare, and I didn't. But some of the shit they did was so fucking stupid. <laughs> Even for an action movie that I was like, oh my fucking god, how dumb is that? And one of them like fly up And above. none of them can act worth a good goddamn. And that's saying something because what's his face? Gyllenhaal? Mm -hmm. He's done some pretty good parts in some movies in his career. But I'm going to tell you this. His acting in that movie was so fucking lackluster that the only thing I could think of was because, one, he's not used to doing that type of, like, thing. <laughs> Even though he's done, like, other movies with, like, a badass kind of guy in it. But it was, like, maybe because he worked with Every single other person on the whole thing, you'd never seen them in a movie to save your life. Like, who are these fucking people? Like, not one of them is even a mediocre name, let alone a big name. Especially not in movies. I mean, Conor McGregor's Conor a McGregor's star. the only reason why anybody knows him is if you watch UFC or, or you drink his fucking whiskey. Right. I'm just or saying, he's, Irish. A, he's a superstar, but not an actor. Right. But again, if you went down the street and asked people who this guy is, would they know? Conor McGregor, probably. Just show him a picture. Do you know this man? Do you know his name? Do you know his name? Do you call him a tomb? <laughs> Just kidding. But, uh, I mean, I don't know. That was just my take on it, personally. But Yeah, the it, love interest wasn't pretty. The, right? Like, yeah, it was so gross. They, I was they like, kind of like, screwed up. Like, that was even... Although, the girl on the original wasn't that good looking. Oh, no, she wasn't. Uh, but, I mean, beside the point. He didn't rip anybody's throat out, did he? No. No. And come on, that's the best part of Roadhouse. Yeah. <laughs> he rips the dude's son's right. throat out. Jin freaking ping in the chest says, Nay, hello, everyone. I am China's nightmare. <laughs> nice. Good to have you in our chat tonight. Sophie says, I've been watching Bar Rescue every once in a while. I read a fact about that Ricky Snooky movie. It was announced in 2010 and Jim Carrey was supposed to star in it. I could see that. And then they gave him the old one too and screwed him over at a life, huh? Made him think he was crazy. Robbie says, what does the sound remind me of the teacher in Snoopy? Hmm. Anyway, AEW just wah. not making worth anyone's while to watch it live. I don't, I don't even know where they're at. Maybe they're maybe they're in a different place or something. I don't know. Maybe they're maybe they're I don't know. Aren't they in Canada? Are they in Canada this time? For some reason, I thought they were in Canada touring it. It could be Canada. <sighs> so it says so Edge went from Edge went from wrestling in front of a lot of people's wrestling like in cafeteria. He says it's the best time he's ever had in his whole career. He said that. We'll hold him to it. Robbie says, Hook, he has a strange voice. Is it because you never heard him talk and all of a sudden he did? Sophie says, that Roadhouse reboot has been in development for a while. My uh, Robbie says, my friend Steve, who works in Formula One for one of the teams, he met Conor McGregor at a race. That's cool. Is he exactly how he is everywhere else? Just curious to know if he's that way in person, too. I feel like he is. What the fuck is happening and why are we seeing it? I don't know if I can watch this show ever again. It's so bad. Please get rid of Willow. Why is she here? Oh my god. Fucking dumb fucking. 
Why does Nikki Ash Travis did a great impression, right? Pico says all these odd characters combined in one segment. It just feels so random and forced. Be careful, your shoe is on your cord. The Raven Chicken Hawk. Ugh. I'm gonna throw up now. Don't mind me. <laughs> Robbie says I haven't seen my mate Steve for a long time as he works a lot abroad for the race season. Oh, I bet. I don't know when their open open racing open wheel racing season is. Oh, is that? Anyways, Vindicator is back in the chat now. Says already ready, Miss Delith. I am back. Happy to see Travis looking sharp as ever. Sorry, your buddy, no signal. How to leave us? I'll have to fix it. Might be missing the best part, Universal's Mariah later on. Yeah. Looking yeah. forward to it. I don't know what's going on. I kind of wish it was next and then lasted an hour and a half. I know, right? <sighs> Does he have to? Because I really don't want to listen Is this to it? say it. Oh no. Ow. It's dynasty. Oh no. So, this is funny. This upcoming episode of Bra will be taking place in Canada. Yeah, Canada. I was like, just don't shout because you both sound like Snoopy teacher. Cool. Wah, wah, wah. He goes like, funny how? Funny like a clown? Oh, if you're scared of clowns, though, nobody wants that if you're afraid of them. Nobody wants funny clowns. Hilarious. So he says, funny, this upcoming episode of Raw will be taking place in Canada. Oh, yeah, I already read that. So he says, WWE is open. <sighs> Excuse me, open to working with other wrestling promotions. Vindicator says, so young bums about to set the geek nation on the interwebs on fire with this video. Yeah, the Hammer says, FTR is going to be the greatest tag team of this generation. That suit, not something I would wear. It's like, I hate clowns. Pickles like, Canadia. I absolutely have no interest. Pickles says. But he coder says, video sucks without audio. So if he says, this stunt AEW is about to pull, a lot of fans are upset by it. Feels like, so glad it's muted. It's coming right now, so. What's muted? Oh, they already started the video for them. Probably. We're kind of. Robbie says, D, it's not a stylish suit, is it? No, it looks like garbage. It looks like, it literally looks like he stole his grandma's brocade from her couch and made a suit out of it. It's horrific. What is happening? Why are they here? They're building up to the uh, CM Punk thing. They're saying that FTR is working with CM Punk and that's why they're destroying the company. Mm. So if that's, if that's the case, like if that's what they're trying to pull, then why are the FTR even still there? It's part of the storyline. That's why they're using it. It's a storyline. But their butts are hurt by it, so they're making a big deal out of it. And they're they're putting it out there. Here it is. So here's the tape for us. The punk walks up to him. Why would he walk up to him in the first place? 
Well, I'm sure something happened. So, so he it looks probably like said they're something talking stupid. about something about his mom or grandma or something. Maybe Punk was really jealous of his hair. Yeah, he does have full head of hair. But still nothing. Words being exchanged. Punk pointed at something. Push, push, grab. Oh no. Push. Okay, Joe held back him. Nobody's held back. Punk. I mean, people work in the back. They are somebody to somebody. But in the wrestling world. So, where was Tony Khan scared for his life? Because I know he said he was scared for his life. They could have at least played some music or something. Well, it's a... They wouldn't have had it. Oh, you mean music. Like, just play music. Yeah. <laughs> like silent music. <laughs> <laughs> like a silent movie or uh, some shit. I mean, come on, guys. Jeez. Could have been way more entertaining. That's hilarious. So you can't push people around? <laughs> Anyways, Peagle had said earlier, so glad it's muted. Robbie says, D, it's not a stylish. Oh, I read that. Peagle's like, what is this, TMZ? Benny Kidder says, so punk hit Jack first. Robbie says, Sophie can spoil AEW all she wants because I'm not that bothered about this show. Peagle says, punk is rent-free in this low-rate promotion. What a sham. Here's FTR. The Revival. Remember? WWE? Yeah. Free the Revival. FTR. And they just kept it. They're like, we want to go back to WWE. Tony Schiavone was like all weird on the sidelines when they showed the commentators. He was being kind of weird. Huh. Anyways, uh, Vindicator's like, so Punk hit Jack first. Yeah, but it looks like Jack was running his mouth. It didn't look like a punch to me. It looked like a push. Yeah, I don't think it, it really There was nothing, him. like, really aggressive. It was an aggressive push. Not saying it wasn't, but it's not like he raised a fist and punched him right smack in the nose. It's not how we did it in the day. No, man, he'd fucking... That, he would have been on the floor beaten. Like, literally, he would have been down on top of him, beating the fucking shit out of him. He would have been begging for his mom. Tom him to name 10 candy bars. Dad, and he'd be like, Well, the fucking good dad's dead, bitch! Give me, ten candy bars. More. Give me 10 candy bars. Tell him what. Oh my god. What happened? <laughs> yeah, Earth. It's because of those. <laughs> it wasn't there, and then all of a sudden I looked back and it was like. <laughs> <laughs> Bitches. Bitches ain't shit. Feels like Punk is rent free in this lower promotion. What a sham. Bobby says it's quite blurry. Hard to tell what happened in the video. Many cares like now Punk's swindling money from an even lower rate promotion. And Triple H too blind to see it. LOL. He's going to be wrestling Drew McIntyre soon. Oh, Vin. We, we know you secretly love WWE. It's Do you see that uh, Rhea got attacked by your girl Liv? So she'll be main of it in the next pay-per-view with Rhea. Uh, people was like, ah, oh, FTR rebuttal. Hey, I used to wear Batman tees when I was 12. Pretty nostalgic. <laughs> well, just like, okay, bye, guys. See you Monday for Rob. Bye, Walter. Have fun at the movies on Friday. Good luck with your extra bingo on Saturday. Hopefully, your storms calm down, bud. Have a good night. I don't consider either of these two tag teams the best tag team of this generation. Not really. Pickles like, see you next time, Walter. I just feel like they're really not that good. Probably the awesome truth. 
for this generation. Oh, totally. They're the top of Well, they're the tag team champions. These they're guys very don't have entertaining, shit. too. Well, these guys have shit for belts. Oh my god, you're still talking, all of you. Ugh, you're just as bad as the other two that were up there a minute ago. Oh, let's see. Uh, Vindicator's like, I saw it, Travi Trav, and it's only right since the shame is shamed to live out of a spot on mania. That's right. No, they didn't. They didn't. She didn't need one. No, Jax wasn't there either. So there There's a lot go. of women that weren't there. Um, nope. I don't think they needed to have participation trophies as much as they did. Well, well, WrestleMania was just a sham itself. It was a pathetic attempt at trying to get everybody on the roster for a 40 when it should have been way more special than they made it. They literally made it into garbage. It was dumb. You didn't like Mania? About like these people yakking about their crybabiness. Oh my god. One match I didn't really like. The rest were Ugh. okay. I swear. I mean, I get it that they're like, oh my god, like, we have to like address this. And it's special and stuff, but Jesus. Like they should have just not even bothered. Like who cares? The guy's not in your promotion anymore. What difference does it make? It doesn't change anything for your stupid pay-per-view you're having that's called Dynasty, for fuck's sake. Ugh. Is a puppy outside? Yes, he is, because he didn't want to come inside. It's nice. Go get him. He could be eaten by a hawk. Then go get him. Oh, well. He hangs out under the tree. I don't know how he's going to get eaten by a hawk. Well, I understand that, but most of the time he hangs out under the big tree under here waiting for the squirrel so he can attack him. Or maybe he's trying to get that gopher that's in our yard now. He should. Oh, bastard. We're going to have to flood him out. Suck him up into a jar. I've seen that. Was it on a movie about a golf course? No, actually it was a guy who actually does it. Like, that's his job is to, like, like <laughs> capture him. He sticks a hose in the you know, like plug up all their other ones or something like that and then you just stuff it in there and boop. all we had is mounds of dirt though there's no holes i like brush the dirt yeah and it's just grass really not a hole in sight huh That's i'm sure weird. there is a hole like somewhere but blue says did he think jungle boy was aj lee maybe trying to beat his wife is that why jungle boy was um like playing with his hair so much are you, are you saying that Jungle Boy hit on like like a Peter on Sam Punk and he and he refused him in a very violent way? <laughs> I'm not that kind of guy. Whack. <laughs> He's funny about that stuff too because he'll say there's a lot of man buns around here. He was saying that about WWF. A lot of man buns around here that aren't worn by men, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Gross. Oh, let's see. Uh, Vindicators like Dynasty is a prestigious name, unlike Backlash. Unfortunately, they stole that from a sitcom back in the 80s. So, wow, couldn't even come up with anything original on their own. What was that? Oh, Dynasty. Dynasty. <laughs> Dynasty. Dynasty. I remember Dynasty. Well, yeah. I never watched it. I never did either. <laughs> I just know it existed because my mom called it Dynasty. <laughs> Don't call them. It came on at night, and we never were allowed to be watch it because it was sexual drama, like soap opera, but nighttime soap opera. Came on pretty late too, if I remember right, like the nine o'clock slot or something. It was, it was probably late. Like seven Eastern, seven our time, maybe nine o'clock Eastern. No, it was nine. It was like late night. Like it was later than that. Like, it was after our bedtime or something, or right at bedtime when we were young, young. Blue says Jungle Boy did kind of look like AJ Lee, so maybe Pink, maybe Punk got confused. <laughs> maybe. Uh, Vindicator says, I don't think Jack has rainbows in his blood. I don't know. I think he kind of does, Ben. I think he's a rainbow boy. He was, you know did have a dad who was in Hollywood, so he was probably in the P-diddler area. Got P-diddled. 
He's very confused and upset about his life. Sophie says, remember the show Heroes? I do. It was actually really good for a while when I watched it anyways. That was a long time ago, like 30 years ago or 50 or however long ago that was. Bob's Burgers. As I said, reports are that they are making a second reboot of Heroes. Oh, that's sad. Why would they do that? How terrible. Awful thing to do. He calls like it was quite a memorable season. What the fuck wasn't it? Like, man, dude, that fucking thing got me hooked. And then they fucking just... Assholes. <laughs> I hate it when they do that. It's probably why I don't really watch TV anymore. I get... Like, there are shows that I, like, am very, like, ooh, this will be really good. And then I watch it. And then either they fuck it up or they end it because who knows what happened. But always that way. So I'm kind of glad, like, they make things like that Shogun where it's only so many episodes and it's done. I am so thankful for that because it's a story that's going to be told and then be done. And uh, I like that because then I don't have to, like, worry about the next one. That's why I like American Horror Story is because and, and until they've done later ones and now they've kind of, like, they've, like, kind of added things from past ones in it. And now they're trying to tie them all together. And, I mean, they kind of did a little bit, but now I feel like it's a little bit more than what they did before. And I find that annoying. I don't, I don't really like it. Vindicator says reports are Sophie will rely relay about 10 more reports for us tonight. I bet Sophie says Heroes wasn't that bad. No, nah, it wasn't. It was actually pretty good. Peekle says I still need to watch that. That Shogun Peekle, ugh, it, it's so far what I've seen, good. I absolutely love it. But it's in my wheelhouse of things I like. So it's something that I enjoy. Sophie says I wonder which is harder for the writers, a shorter season or a long season. Um, I'm going to say a long, Sophie. Um, the reason being is because with long seasons, there's a lot, especially if you have a, a series and it's more than one season. It's multiples. It's a lot of story. And then you have to break it up into smaller sections unless you're making them really long. Um, but uh, shorter seasons could mean you can make a longer episode and you can make it in-depth information for it and then you can span out your series for more if you wanted to but that showgun thing is only going to be one season the reason being is because it literally follows an actual story that happened and there's only what's being made is following just that story and there's nothing more so unless they want to fabricate shit or anything like that after the fact they'd have to do something of that nature Anyways, they were done doing some other stuff, but now Will Osprey's out there talking and gyrating and doing weird stuff with Renee, and she looks not happy about it. And I think she's disgusted, actually. Oh, he's talking about grinding. Gross. No wonder she's disgusting. Disgusted. Her face shows disgust. So he says, uh, Heroes Reborn wasn't that great. I never watched that one. Uh... But if you have a shorter season, they have to rush through the story of that season. Not necessarily, Sophie. Um, it just depends on how they do it, what their information is, and what they're writing about. So, Lou says, Heroes was such a good show. My bro is trying to get me to watch Shogun, but Hulu has commercials. So, nah. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm going to tell you, it is actually really good. I mean, I don't care about commercials. I grew up a whole area, era of commercials, so... After a while, you just kind of get used to it. But it's a captivating enough that if it had commercials, it, I wouldn't care. Vindicator says, so Delitha, will you try to play your game again on Friday? Give the Gab fans better programming than anything Paul can come up with. No, we'll just have regular SmackDown stuff on Friday. So if he says that wrestling show, Heels, will be on Netflix. There's a potential for a third season. Fun. Crap I don't watch. <laughs> Ever. So he says Shogun kind of looks good. If you do not like 
closed captioning having to read because they were speaking in a foreign language a good amount of the time, you will not enjoy it. <clears throat> so. And Robbie's like, we can play guess the Snoopy characters. Vindicator says picture in picture still sucks. Robbie, you can just mute your shit, dude. I don't care. Vindicator's like, picture in picture still sucks. Sophie says, I don't like reading while I'm watching stuff. Yeah, I could see that. It might. Well, um, since Travis is actually on TV today, he did get his uh, Becky Lynch book. Autographed by the man herself. The man, and it is signed. It didn't give him any, like, love letters, just her yeah, signature. Yeah, she didn't send me any nudes or anything. No nudes. But he get an authenticity certificate. Wow. We'll have Billy to just read the book out loud. <laughs> Very big words, so wouldn't be that long of a read. I don't know if you could. Could you read it without it? I think you can't. Well, you're not supposed to, but if you just did it on a random episode, I don't think it would matter. Look at her as a flight attendant. I mean, she was probably slutty. Oh. <laughs> That's funny. I've never actually met Transatlantic her. flight as a flight attendant. And my mother's what? Laughed. Oh, <laughs> that was her mom, huh? That's funny. So she went on a flight with her mom for her first one and her mom's last. That's kind of cool. <clears throat> the indicators that that's her first trip to Japan. Uh, Vin says Julia Hart is so awesome. She is everything Bliss failed to become. Vindicator, I know you try to put so much onto AEW because it's the only thing you quote unquote supposedly watch, but uh, no. Yes, who became Julia Hart's awesome. She's everything Bliss failed to become. If you're talking about the weird ass character that they tried to portray her with with Bray, yes. yes. But if you're talking about Bliss, who was the goddess, the and she should have stayed the goddess when she looked really good, the then I'm sorry to inform you, Julia Hart will never be that, ever. Not your average girl, Becky Lynch. Sophie says, whenever me and my mom watch TV, we have to have the subtitles. Robbie says, I watch most of the non-TV football and foreign language. It doesn't bother me. Um... Okay. I was talking to Sophie, and I mean, generally, I guess, if people, but that's why I was saying to Sophie about Shogun. Um, a good part in half the show is in Japanese. And so they have subtitles for when they speak Japanese, they have English subtitles for it. And when they speak Portuguese or, or um, English... <laughs> It's in quote unquote English <laughs> instead of yeah. that language. So that there's show. no, it's so there's show. no, yeah. We were just talking about it while it you were talking about it. Because they talk really fast. And so if you're not a good reader, you have to pause it a lot, probably. And I don't, so I just kind of catch part of it. But that's how it would be if I was really listening to somebody that spoke Japanese and I was learning it. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't pick up every word, anyways. Sophie says, maybe you will learn a lot of stuff about Becky from that book. Probably stuff you never knew. I'll never read it. Vindicator says, the I book should have came girl. with one of Seth's custom-made jackets for you, Travis. I know. Bobby says, Julia Hart is a fraud. Oh, no. Sophie says, Bliss is good. She looks like she could come back to WWE TV at some point. Is her butt gone completely? Bobby says, Bliss is a fraud. Also, couldn't wrestle. Blue says, Julia Hart is going to WWE. So sorry, Vindicator. <laughs> Finn says, you hush your mouth, Robbie. You can't understand greatness. <laughs> Finn's like, yeah, I mean, it was dumb of them to make Bliss a horror character. They just did it wrong, Finn. I mean, she could have passed as a horror character. Originally. But they took her talking away. Because, one, great, you know, fine. She maybe was having health issues and she lost a lot of her physique. Fine. Whatever. They could have done the horror character if they would have done it correctly and let her talk. But they fucked up and made, made her, her some weird thing that she couldn't even defend herself in in a ring against fucking Natalia if she wanted to. 
That's that was the joke that it, it was just pathetic. And if that's what she wanted, that's pathetic on her part. Because the one thing about bliss that made her bliss was because she could talk. Right. And I mean like talk, not and we talk like this and I'm this. No, it was like she would rip you up one side and down the other with a smile on her face. She could call you a bitch and you would like it kind of shit. Right. So when I first started watching the Wyatt family, I immediately went to NXT to see what they had down there. And my first thought was she needs to be Sister Abigail. And this is like 2015 or something. Right. It's like they need to turn her because I was looking for a cute little blonde because that's what they needed. And it would have worked. Right. Then somebody eight years later decides, hey, I have a good idea. Let's take this girl and make her part of the Wyatt family. It's like, you missed it. You already made her a star. Well, what happened was is that it wasn't Bray Wyatt in that family anymore. It wasn't the Wyatt family anymore. It was... I understand. Uh, what's his butt? I get it. Um, I wear a mask and I'm a weird, the goofy, I get it. ha-ha guy. I, I, I get it. I'm just saying that they finally did it. And it's like, if you would have made her a star with that family, it would have worked better. Mm-hmm. Obviously, it would have been better than the goddess by herself. Right. Maybe not, but you could have easily done the championships a lot better with her in a faction like that. It made more sense. Yeah. She was the first Bolt champion. She mm-hmm. won the SmackDowns and then the Raws. Yeah. And I thought for sure that was going to be Charlotte. Oh, yeah. And it wasn't. It, it was wasn't. Bliss. It was Bliss. It's like, whoa, that's cool. It was just because she could talk and that was it. She looked she good. Was, she could talk and she, she was wasn't too odd, bad of a wrestler. She was the odd one out, right? Like, yep. Because they had the four horsewomen, Paige, and then Bliss, and then the rest of the crew. Mm-hmm. And she was the one that was just out in front. It was like, oh, this is kind of refreshing. Because I thought for sure it was going to be Charlotte and uh, Mercedes. and Right. All of them got their shots, by the way. Yeah. But. Uh, Robbie says Julia Hart is a dog. Oh, that's mean. And, uh, so you mean like, she got that dog in her? That sounds like a video game character. Robbie's like, rough, rough. Then he hears, like, Lantern. That would be career suicide from Julia. Nothing for her over there. <laughs> Blue says, Julia Hart annoys me when she sings along to their theme music. It reminds me what kids do when pretending to pro wrestle on the trampoline. It's so juvenile. <laughs> and it's like, I heard my girl Jade is already being ruined. Sophie says, so how was the backstage video? Meh. It looked dumb. It looked it looked like they, um, what do you call that? They did something to it. Oh, dubbed it or something? Not that. Edited it? Yeah, they edited it to make it look what they needed it to look like. Yeah, they showed it. It was the Bucks that showed it as part of the storyline with the FTR because FTR is friends with uh, CM Drunk. Blue says backstage video was good. Showed Punk commit a felony assault unprovoked in any legal sense. I didn't see that. I didn't either. I was looking at it. Sophie says, wasn't Shogun have a video game? Uh, no, but the story Shogun is actually a true story of samurais and stuff in uh, feudal Japan. Vindicator says, uh, Lantern Scarlet si- sings their theme song too, so as does Seth, it happened. But I was like, so we come tonight, Anna J. Yeah, teaming Jade with two losers is baggage. Real smart. WWE soon people will get fed up of Jade because of that. You know, it's funny, though. When she did her wrestling match that she had, even though it was with, uh, you know, Chelsea Green, she went out there by herself. Yeah. Uh, she didn't have and the other. And it was other, on Raw. Yeah, she didn't have Garbage Face with her or Bianca. So, meh. Robbie's like, did Nikki Cross quit wrestling? Who knows? Harley is in the chat. Hey, Harley says hello, everyone. Vindicator says, plus, they are not letting Jade wrestle real talent since SmackDown is severely lacking it outside of Bailey, EO, and Bianca. Sophie says, they should have showed the video like eight months ago. Picola says, it was awesome. I seen Dragons, Terminator was there, and like Darth Vader and Bigfoot. Yeah. Wow, Picola. I was told this you. Was the Diddy party? I told you they fucking edited that fucking backstage video. I told you they edited it. He he saw. He saw the editing. They tried to make it something it wasn't. 
I just saw just Joe. <laughs> Robbie says, yeah, but they still have Jade with them. <laughs> Uh, Blue's like, did someone just call Bianca a loser? And Robbie says, no. yes, because it was him. Oh. Robbie doesn't like Bianca, so just so you know. He he doesn't like her. I like Esther. I've always liked Esther. She, at first, was kind of annoying. Really? She really was. As time has gone on, though, I haven't... She'd not as, but this whole crap they're doing with her mixing her with the real loser of the group, the quitter face... Is not helping her yeah, the, in with, any way. With the Usos' wife, it's just it's just bad news. It's just garbage. It it makes no, her thank look you. bad. Bad. People are like, oh, that video. Nope, we're not mentioning Diddy parties. Oh my god, we aren't. I thought there was like pee diddling happen with the T Rex. They got to record it so they can show it later as evidence. Hmm. How long after they do these raids do they end up arresting people or something? I have no idea. Probably a few months. I would imagine something, maybe. And they gotta go through what they don't want the important people to see and... Oh. Yeah, they gotta get all their ducks in a row. Mm, yeah, because there's probably very powerful people at those places that they cannot have on there. Right. Like, no. No, no, no. No, no. No, 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 no. Rear, 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 rear. Robbie's like, everyone just rides the dick of what's popular without using their own mind to like who they like. I like who I like. And definitely not because of popularity. Ugh, me. God, me neither. I that was you, the case. I'm more along the way, like, and I hate to say it, you know, the glass half full, half empty part. But I'm more along the lines of, like, who I can't stand. I'm okay with a lot of wrestlers, but there's some that I can't stand. Right? And I think there's more that I can stand than I can't stand. And so, but I don't have an absolute favorite, right? Like, there's not just one that I'm like, okay, stop what I'm doing. Like a Barry Bonds at bat in 2000. Right. Like, no matter what you were doing, they would, ESPN would cut over to a Bonds at bat. And then you'd watch the bat, and then they'd go do whatever, and then every hour it would come on. So I, no matter what I was doing, I would be where I could get to it. ESPN television every hour right. during a Giants game. Right. And it's kind of, there's no one like that in wrestling now. Yeah. Where there used to be in right. the old days. I mean, if Hulk Hogan was around when you were older, like in that case, mm -hmm. you would have done the same thing. Oh. Probably. <laughs> because, you know, I mean... Not when he, not not him, like at the end of his career, but I mean, like at the peak of his career. If his peak of his career was when you were in your twenties, you know, yeah, and there it would people, have been a completely different. There were story people in their twenties that watched Hogan that loved him. So I mean, and not to mention, I was in my twenties when he lost to The Rock, and I stopped watching it. <laughs> yeah. So I still liked him, <laughs> <clears throat> and of course, I the kid in me always wanted to be the red and yellow. And so when he came back and turned on the NWO after that match, I watched that little bit of stuff. I was excited. Woo! <laughs> Sophie says WWE aired WrestleMania live in New Zealand on Netflix to test it out. Blue nice. says, I hate baby faces, but Bianca is one of the best baby faces in wrestling for two years. Speaking of crappy baby faces, let's do a Becky Lynch bashing session. Never seen someone go from best to worst. I don't know what. I don't even know her. why she even fought so hard to be the man anymore because she doesn't act like it. Yeah. I don't understand why she fought so hard after the fact to get that name back. When it now means absolutely nothing. It's sad. Sophie says uh, that. And Piccolo says crazy Miami Heat and Dallas Mavs are playing tonight. Wow. Cool. Oh, no. Cool well, they lost because they were both arguing on the outside and their teammate got... Oh, lost. no. The poor Shibata got shibata Isn't that a dance? No, it's Sharona. 
that's a song, but yeah. Uh, Vindicator's like, well, Lantern, prepare to suffer through Cody Rhodes' year-long baby back ribs face title run. So he says, for the first time, they didn't announce where future manias are taking place like they usually have done. Yeah, we'll, we'll get it soon enough. You know, uh, they probably have to do different stuff now. They don't have, they have to have, they, uh, let's, let's put it this way. They have more people that have a say and have to do that kind of thing than they used to when it was just Vince running most of it. Because he made all those deals before. Right. Now they have a whole bunch of people that have to be involved in the deal of where they're going and what they're doing. So it's going to probably take them a minute. Like They're we, kind of slow like that in corporation pitch our ideas time. To yep. the bosses and let the bosses. The corporation idea takes takes time. They're they're kind of like a late. government. Yep. Oh my god, he's busting out with this story. Yeah, he's uh, going up against uh, Samoa Joe tonight. It's going to be amazing. What the? Fuck? Yeah. Oh my god, why? Yep. Why would they do that? That's the dumbest thing you could. Possibly do. <laughs> that sounds hideous. That sounds hideous. <laughs> Jake from State Farm up in here. Jake from State Farm. <laughs> That's going to be your main event. Probably. Yep, still to go. I, oh, he, in West I honestly thought he would be there Sunday. I know I did. It was too. weird that he wasn't. Because I know that they would have been okay. WWF would have been okay with this. So it would have just been up to AEW. Right. And I'm sure he was. He's probably just in the back. Yeah, they probably. He's like, you can go as long as your face doesn't show up on TV. Probably. Kind of. The crap. Rainmaker. All right. Hopefully they treat this guy good. So if he says Rhonda was also crying and making excuses on why she hated working for the WWE. I don't care about Rhonda Rousey. That I hate that stupid kind to the ends of the earth. Robbie says it's like that in football with football fans. People just love the flavor of the month players without even knowing who they are. That's what I call bandwagoning, Robbie. That's called bandwagoning. Bandwagon. Have you guys seen Bedazzled with Brandon Fraser? <laughs> he looks like Brandon Fraser when he's the tall basketball player. <laughs> he has no brain. <laughs> Number one! That's all he can do. <laughs> you know, you always got to try your best when you're at that, and you just do your best. Because <laughs> we're number one. Bend Bend cares. <laughs> I'm just saying he looks like him. I'm not saying he's... I know yeah. what you're saying. But he looks just like him. We don't know what he sounds like for real real. <laughs> He's making his 24 debut. We don't know who he is. Yeah, Argentino. Cristiano Argentino. Argento? 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 Oh my god, why is his pants so far up? He what the fuck is wrong with this guy? He what? Oh way my up. god. Gives him a feeling Jesus of freedom. Jesus fucking Christ, what the F is. Oh my god. He looks like he has stick legs. He's gonna lock up with him. <sighs> Oh, God, this is so fucking gay. Shouldn't Okada have already won? Oh, my God, right? Like, why is this even still going on? I don't care if it's your debut or not. Mm -hmm. Okay, that should do it. <gasps> Okada's like, man, I should have signed with WWF. Fuck. If this is the kind of crap I get is my first, like, one of our first things, I don't. Oh, you got him over. This is terrible wrestling. And it's probably the other guy's fault, but this guy doesn't look that great either. Do you see how long it took him to get him over his back and around? And he weighs like 100 pounds. Now he's firing up. Like... Oh, we're still here. A little drop kick with some elevation. I like that. And he's like, good, Sophie. They can let people down with a dog shit show gradually over time. Pico says, after decades, you sort of decide to choose a wrestler and whether they turn heel or face, you usually just stay loyal. Unless, ahem, they become assholes. That's true, Pico. 
I am in that fence of that right now. I honestly, and I will never go back to liking that particular person. It took ever. me a long time to trust again. It was like a ever. jaded relationship because of Hulk Hogan, how he was treated by The Rock. And so I stopped watching for a while. I got out of the dating scene. I got back into it about 2012, 11, 12. And I finally found somebody that I could care about again. He died. It's true. And so now I'm like, Uh oh, it's gonna see him at Dynasty. Dynasty. Uh oh. Not the pack bastard. Two pack. The pack bastard. So it was this big show. Kane and Mark Henry will turn face heel like every month during their WWE career. Vindicator says I heard Becky wrestled on Saturday while she was sick. No, so respect to her for that. Yeah, there was that. Oh okay. my God, she had strep and she'd had it for a week. Got her book. She can, she's just being a crybaby. God. Then he cares like Rainmaker Okada has arrived. Yeah, he didn't show very good fortitude that I saw. By the man. Oh, no. He just got attacked by those guys. Poor Pac. Robbie says, I go to work now feeling well at times. I don't get respect. Mad respect. Harley says, supposedly if you Google where WrestleMania 41 is going to be, uh, being going to be at, going to be in Minnesota. Yeah, I've heard the rumors. Blue says, I agree. A long Cody babyface run will get boring, but he's done a lot of Bullet Club teasing. Maybe he'll get H to do a Bullet Club thing once things get boring. Sophie says, it also depends on when they want to schedule Mania next year as well. They'll do it when they do it. It'll be the first weekend in March usually. Or April, April. sorry. Pico says, I sure think it'll be a mid-main event. <laughs> right. Sophie says Mania 41 is rumored for Memphis and Mania 42 is rumored for Vegas. And Pico says long time ago, he was athletic but a dumbass. Ha ha. <laughs> Sophie says, who knows how often the TKO board meets. Pico says, I flipped three minutes and he already won. Snooze. Sophie says, I'm watching old SmackDown. Sophie says, Raw was a great show. Then you watch this garbage. Even though CM Punk isn't part of AEW, they keep thinking about him like he is an ex-lover. Right. Cody is this version of John Cena. Cool. Could be. I didn't really feel like Raw was really a great show this week. I didn't hate it, but it was long. Well, it was just a lot of talking, and I understand it's the WrestleMania after. I could watch the last hour because my internet was down. Yeah, a lot of stuff was very strange and whatnot. Oh, the joy. Ryan Garcia is going to be wrestling Devin Haney, or wrestling, fighting Devin Haney. <laughs> it's going to be wrestling that bitch. <laughs> oh, shit. You could hear that reverberate through the crowd. That was a chair shot to the head. Oh, my. For on um, Pac? Yeah. Huh. Not that Pac has a brain. Right. I didn't hear a damn thing, so I just put my earpiece back in. I was trying to be nosy. Trying to be nosy, Jay White. I don't know why I'm here. From your old job? Mm hmm. She probably just wants to go do something. Is it Friday? No, it's Wednesday. We're watching AEW. That's right. Unfortunately. <laughs> talking That's what we want is a recap. Questions. Not only do we want a recap, we want a talking segment about a recap. Ooh, how exciting. Talking, a recap, and a talking segment. Talking about talking. So this next weekend, this Saturday that's coming up is UFC event 300, 300 yeah, huge if one. anybody wants to know. It's a really big one. They're going to have a lot of uh, people 
on it. Like They're every all... one of the main card fights would be a headliner at a pay per view. Yeah, and there's a lot of champion fights happening, and there's a lot of fights that have um, ranked people in it and stuff. Um, so if you're interested in UFC, that pay per view is on this Saturday, and it's UFC 300. The reason I bring it up is food. What about them? You and Danny. Um, I didn't know if anybody else was coming. Is it no. just him and I then? I tried. Okay. All right. Well, it's not sure what to make of this. You just want dishes. Not necessarily. Yeah. It's your favorite thing. Not really. I think it is. It's your favorite thing because you don't like to do them, so it must be your favorite. How's that make sense? Because they are never done. They just constantly just sit there. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I just did them like Monday. Uh, so he says, let's see what the SmackDown after Mania will bring us. What are you looking at? You did not. I did. I completely did. Uh-huh. Cleared the whole sink up. There was nothing in there. Monday. Mm-hmm. Sure. Sure you did. I did. I even ran the dishwasher. It's full right now, probably. Blue light and everything. Uh huh. Oh, so he says, I don't know why you are surprised sometimes after or before a pay per view. There usually isn't that much wrestling on Raw. Wasn't surprised. Did exactly what I expected him to bore me to where I wanted to die. Robbie says, Not even the charity shop would take that signed Becky Lynch book. Oh, that's not very nice. Blue says, why does Liv Morgan get much love? She's just another boring, overcome the fake odds, baby face with no unique personality. She just has a butt and a pretty face. I don't know. Don't I'm not a, a fan, pretty face so and a who knows. Butt. Sophie says, the end. AEW is doing like Battle of the Belts 10 this weekend. Do you expect any WWE superstars to appear for that UFC pay-per-view this weekend? Yeah, there'll be a couple. I would. Oh, yeah, there'll be I some. I bet Bianca and her husband will be there. There's going to be quite a few there, I bet. You could see Robbie's Stephanie and... I'm trying to think, where is it? In Vegas? Where's this? Yeah, is definitely. Is it that one in Vegas? I thought the last one was, and then I was like, no, it's the 300 one that's in Vegas. It'll definitely There's going to be a lot of people. You're going to see a lot of people. There are going to be a deal. celebrities and all kinds of crap. Anytime there. you have one of these, the centuries, there's been three of them so far, they're big. They're big deals. Sophie said, do you, uh, that, oh, and Robbie says, oh, a Nintendo Switch selling for 20 bucks on that infomercial. Go on. Sophie says, did you see on Raw they combined all five shows from this weekend? Yeah. And Vindicator says, so we have to power through this unnecessary toast to finally get some cake on my TV. Ugh. Oh, it's time with Tony. Who eats toast with their champagne? Ew, gross. I don't know. Sounds weird. I got drunk off champagne when I was like 12. This episode of the NFL game is confirmed to take place in England this September as a season opener. Cool. Santa Rosa usually has some cake. She just has white hips. <laughs> Literally.
kind of a dick move. Oh, no. How rude. Oh, Veneers like, buy your tickets now, Bobby. Buy one for Sophie, too. Sophie says, it sounds like Sasha Banks' first match will be at that May pay-per-view. Bobby says, Liv Defo had a great ride in the locker room. She Defo has a liquor license. Sophie says, I've been playing WWE 2K24 in the showcase mode is hard. Vindicator says, J versus May 2. How you got Travis? Who was that? And May, it's and Mariah May versus, uh, she's just a pretty face. Anna J. Yeah, that one. That's a beautiful. Oh, my God, cat. What you doing? You being a weirdo? Yeah, well, you're annoying. Both men. I mean, both women, excuse me. Here we go. Mariah May should be in color. She kissed her into color. She walks funny. It's because she was hurrying. <laughs> Maybe not have so her instead hurry. of running or like, like kind of like jogging, she like did a power walk. But it was like kind of a weird power walk right. down to the ring. Um, Robbie's like, Liv Defo swings that way. And somebody says, do you think we will get Jimmy versus J2 at some point? Hope not. I think it's time to just put them back together and move forward. Vindicator's like, who you got? Who you got? Well, who do I want to look at? It's probably close to a tie. I think Anna J's still prettier. But Robbie says, I know Mariah May's going to win, or <laughs> whatever her name is. Yeah, that's Mariah May. But I w May. would probably rather have the other one, Anna. Mm -hmm. Anna has a very pretty face also. It's tough. This is a tough one. Because Mariah has a pretty face. So I can't say that Anna has a prettier face. Right. Bobby says, Ben, I will let you take your gal, Sophie. Sophie says, Braun Breaker lost his NXT Tag Team Championship, so now he could fully move up to the main roster. Uh -huh. Oh, no, he lost it. Blue says, you guys seriously didn't see Punk attack Jungle Boy in the footage? You're just seeing that because Jungle Boy is a puss? Or did you really not see it? I, I saw some pushing. I didn't see any punching. Yeah, I didn't see any punching. I didn't see any strikes. I watched it. Like, I, I don't know it, if I'd really consider To me, it looked like he just attack. was... Yeah, I mean, it definitely wasn't attacking. I think that Jungle Boy was just being a big baby about it, personally, a little bit. I mean, he wasn't even had to be it, held back. He it, was just kind of like standing in the corner like, oh my God, he's In my attack. day... That was just a pushing. Like, if you went to the principal's office, it would have been nothing. Right. Like, um, that's nothing. Robbie says, then, yeah. No, I mean, it's nothing. true. Like, it. Uh, I just don't understand why they made it such a big deal, but whatever. But no. you would have meant later. Like, you, like hey, we're going to meet at Taco Bell's parking lot later today. Right. And who knows what was said? Because we didn't hear any audio. So, to me, something was said. Right. And that means that shit that was brought up probably should have not been brought up on Jungle Boy's part because he probably had no inkling of anything that oh, had happened shit. prior or before or whatever in something. And he opened his mouth. So I'm not blaming anybody. I just saw what I saw and it was nothing important or. Bad. Well, that's what I mean. Like, it's like. I mean, made Samoa it Joe, bad. like, held Jungle Boy back. Did he Did assault him? Really didn't even really hold him back. Well, I mean, he grabbed him and carried him over to the Yeah, corner. but he didn't really hold him back. He... Uh, Is that assault, too? Uh, yeah. I just don't know what the rules are nowadays with these kids. It's true. Nowadays, if they even say a bad word at school, they probably get suspended for eight years. It's true. And then get their GED, or whatever it's called, their educa their uh, diploma. Yeah. They're like, well, you don't have to get good grades. I was looking at the grades, how they do them in California. It's a joke. Did you know you don't get an F unless you get under 24%? Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Yeah, you know how, like, schools oh used to God. be? Oh, my God. Yeah, oh, well, yeah, I do. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's something like a 70 to a 100 is an A. Wow. 
Oh, yeah. Wow. Damn. I was looking at it yesterday going, what the fuck? Oh, yeah. So you can't fail? No, you, they seriously have Because if it. you can't or answer one out of four questions, you're not in class. That means you're chilling in your car or doing but something else. But you would probably still pass. I mean, it would be pretty easy to guess one out of four, I would assume. <laughs> That's hilarious shit, though. <laughs> Robbie's like, the NFL game will probably be at the Spurs ground as it's built for NFL as well. Cool. Sophie says, Jimmy and Jay back together. It will be interesting how they set that up and when they could do it. I mean, it might be pretty easy with the stuff that happened, but it just depends. The I brothers. Mean, hey, sorry. I know, bro. Oops. You know, like, it's over. Yeah. Sophie says, Ron and Baron lost to Axum and that he Slater look alike. Uh, Vindicator yeah, says, Emmett, who you got winning this match? I know. That's what I said. I got Mariah May is going to win. Like, I just would rather have Anna J win. But I know who's going to win. Right. Oh, uh, Blue's like, I saw a strike to the face and then a push. Both done by Punk. Sophie says, showing that footage is stupid because how do you how do you play that off with CM Punk not there? That's the point, though, Sophie, right? Because they're retaliating. Tony Khan's retaliating. Because of CM Punk's interview he did and the stuff he said. So now they're retaliating. It's childish and dumb. Like, who fucking cares? Like, nobody cares. Like, stop. Nobody. Blue's like, no, Joe didn't assault. <laughs> well, he touched him. Yeah, he did touch him without his permission. He was pretty much just as physical as CM Punk was, in my opinion. Blue's, Blue's like, we watch I'll tell you, he struck his face, then pushed him combo. I just didn't really see that. I, did, I just saw pushing. I watched the whole thing, too, and I didn't really, I guess I didn't. But I will. I'll watch it again. I'm sure I'll see it, it a thousand times. Was it a closed times. fist punch, though? I feel like. I feel like if CM Punk actually punched somebody, I think they would fall down. I mean, Jungle Boy's a tiny little child. You know? <laughs> He's a tiny child! Chris is in the chat. Hey, Chris, good to see you tonight. It says, what about a, what, a bunch of liars? BSS wrestlers are a bunch of fucking liars. TK is a liar! Fuck AEW. Wow. Chris has got some big feels about it. <laughs> Rob is like, AEW has their women's division still alive. It's as alive as the dodo. The old dodo bird. They're going to bring it out of uh, extinction, I think. <laughs> they had their chance with their women's division of not having it extinct, but then they fucked around and they found out how dumb they are. They really fucked over the women's division and their stupidity. Who knows? <sighs> All right, Anna. <laughs> People... I sure love adding turkey lunch meat to this salad. Uh-oh. Mm -mm. She's going to smack her with her ass. Nope, nobody's home, but Anna jay has got a big ass, too. She's like, you want to trade asses? Let me show you. Ugh. What's that? Oh, shit. Boop. Got you, cat. She got her with her chain wallet, or whatever the hell she has on. Boop, boop, boop. I don't know if I could wear a chain on my hip. I feel like if I fell, it would just hurt. Or caught on shit all the time. I wonder if it just catches on shit. Oh, my God, like, like I, you're just walking along, catches on a car, or you're drugged like 50 feet. Right? By your wallet. <laughs> just ass first. Just... <laughs> Pants come off. <laughs> your feet are around your head. Right? The <laughs> terrible. Oh, God. Oh, God. She almost said, get out of there fast. Uh, because I got caught. Bocce. Chris says, yeah, because right now, WWE NXT Women Division is starting to pick up. Yeah, they're doing good. Especially that Sol Rook. I showed Delita a finisher of hers today where she did a somersault across the top rope. She's something special. Another ass to the face. A different ass. Oh, God. What the fuck was that? She was trying to roll her. God damn. Ah, Robbie's like, sorry, I missed that move. 
<laughs> Sophie's like, they're making a Melrose Place reboot. Cool. Then he was like, Robbie, this match has lasted longer than 95% of the women matches in the other company. Eh, not anymore, but okay. Oh my god, Layla Hirsch is back. Oh no. I haven't seen her for since WrestleMania. Oh, is Sammy it on Zane. Rampage, though? Oh. Well, they're showing Rampage. Then, oh, then probably. So that's what you're watching, then it's oh, god. Rampage. What was it? The captain's there, too. Long John Silver. Oh, I thought he died. I thought I thought somebody said he wasn't with him anymore. I thought Long John Silver quit. Or left. Why is April sending me things? I don't know, because you're special. So it says, why fire Sam Punk but not Jack Perry? Anna got her? Is that what she said? Oh, no, Mariah won. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, God. Anna put her to sleep. Anna's a sore loser. She's like, I will attack you. And I'm okay with it. Eh. Mariah May has this, one of those square faces like... Uh, uh, Tiffany Stratton. Right. It's pretty. It's square. Yeah. Her tits are all over the place as she runs. Who's? Uh, stardom. I don't know her name. Mega Akakuchi. I couldn't hear what they said. Mira? Sure. She's cute. Maria Sharakawa. Mina. Um, this is gross. Mm, could turn out very interesting. Keep going. We can go over time, right? Yeah, but I don't think this is the main event, so. No. This could last the next 20 minutes. Oh, they kissed. Lesbian lover. She didn't even drink it. Who cares? This is gross and weird. Don't you dare. It's weird. She's sending me a bunch of Michael Myers stuff that I've already seen from you. What do you mean you've seen from me? It's that dude, and you live across the street from those people, and they're like playing. Oh, like, I didn't send you a whole bunch of them. I thought. And then the one where he's one. driving in his car, and they pull up, and he's just sitting there with the mask on. His wife's like, "Get home." <laughs> he's got like free candy. <laughs> Something like that. And then she just sent me three more, so I'm sure that they're all that stuff. God, she sounds like a fucking idiot. Handle that crap. That's bad. 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 Uh, <sighs> so she. Says, you know, I used to think she was pretty, and then I saw a picture of her, Charlotte, and Bliss together when they brought Triple H out in that chair, and they were his guards or whatever. Mm -hmm. And they all had these masks across their face, mm -hmm. and she was the only one that wasn't pretty. Like with this part of her face covered. Right? Ugh, I can't stand this dumb person. Yuck. Then he says, but Mariah got the win, so you were right, Travis. And another beauty named Mina is joining the mix. So he says, Rampage still a thing, I guess. Vindicator's like, yes, they kissed. And then Vindicator's like, NXT still a thing? Weird. It's their developmental league, Vindicator. Of course it's still a thing. Sophie says, if the WWE wants to be petty, imagine if they put Raw on Wednesday against Dynamite. That could be a possibility one day. Bobby says, Ben, hello, this match has just, has just drawn out bollocks. And uh, Vinicator says, you got weird taste in women matches, Robbie. And Sophie says, did you see the video of Ricky Starks and Dustin Rhodes celebrating Cody's win? Nope. Robbie says, what's with the cap 
popcorn Street Fighter style music. Uh, Pequel says there's literally 25 other women wrestlers I'd rather see get airtime, including Sunny Kiss rather than freaking Layla Hirsch lose herself. It's true, Pequel. I'd rather see Sunny Kiss too. So if he says this sounds like a Vince McMahon episode of WWE TV, the lights Robbie... are all out and there's a fight. Oh no, not a fight. Then uh, Robbie says, Vin, the women ain't the problem, it's the matches that are BS. And Vindicator says, yep, the women matches in that other company are mostly BS. Well, most of them Mercedes in this needs are help, alright. So, there you go. That was a really, really botchy women's match I just watched. So, what do you say about that? Oh, but they're pretty, so it's different, right? Right. I killed your cat. See? <laughs> Sound asleep. Mm -hmm. Your favorite. So he says, so CM Punk was right about AEW in that interview based on that footage. Vindicator says, so I guess Dustin getting the main event only because Cody got the main event over the weekend. I guess. Maybe they'll think that Cody will watch it, maybe. Robbie says, what's this dodgy zooming in and out PS? Don't they do that? There is auto zoom. I don't know what's happening. Nor do I care. Right now, I'm just trying to make it through without wanting to slit my wrists. So there you go. What is it? The guy that owns Harbor Freight, his house is freaking immaculate. Look at the biggest house in Hollywood. What? Look at this monster. Like, it goes all the way down there. That's weird. There's a big one right here, too. But see it, it just keeps going. Huh. Weird. That's kinda weird. Yeah, that's the Harbor Freight owner. <laughs> Zero Harbor Freight tools used during the making of this. Why on earth would you live in Holly Weird? Why would you live there? Why? You wouldn't live in that house? No. I wouldn't live in that city or place or state. Just have a helicopter you just go wherever you want. And a private jet. I would find a way better state than that to live in. There's no better state than California to live in. It is the prettiest state in the Union. Idaho's close. Idaho's really pretty. Oregon, Washington, but California is the prettiest state in the not Union. Not where they're at. Los Angeles area is pretty. Oh. No, it is not. No. It is now not you're just pretty. Trying Los to, like, Angeles take is politics not out of pretty. it. Take humans out of Los it. Los Angeles is not pretty. It's gorgeous. And then the beaches right there. Los Angeles, you're going to tell me that the city of Los Angeles is pretty? Where they're at? No, that's not pretty. You're going to tell me it's on that a mountain with they, trees. Took, they took away every single native part of the country, put in ugly ass fucking mansions like that. Trees that probably don't even belong in the area ruin the environment for everything that they're doing. And you're going to tell me that that's native California, huh? No, it's not. That is not pretty. Just saying that California is still the prettiest state in the union. Even though I'm it has not been saying modified. that the natural areas of California aren't pretty. I am saying where he is at in Hollyweird and LA area is not pretty. You have to go far, far away Not that on the quote-unquote outskirts, if you really even want to call it, for it to be kind of pretty. And then most of that is just motherfucking desert, bitch. Looks just like fucking Nevada. Right. Yeah, because San Diego's hideous. <laughs> it doesn't take much. I mean, you have to find spots and then go far out to find some of it. So it's not a very pretty place where they're at. I didn't say all of I'm talking just about said just You take a helicopter. <laughs> so 
I'm saying, like you're wolf. going to have that type of house. You could find better places to put it or have it than in fucking Hollywood. Yeah, well, that would be way cheaper anywhere else. <laughs> and prettier. That's not pretty. You have fucking garbage shit around you. Who knows? Two blocks away is the shithole neighborhood. I mean, Jesus. That's at the top of Beverly Hill. What? There's no shitty neighborhood oh, yeah, on there Beverly are. Hill. Pretend, but like the are. D-list actors live in it. <laughs> There's always shitty neighborhoods. <laughs> I've seen Pretty Woman. I know where Park Avenue goes. Uh, Jesus. Sophie says Cody did hint at why he left AEW in that interview he did last week with the guy that interviewed CM Punk. I'm watching the first episode of SmackDown when Stephanie was a heel. Uh, gaming with Maxi is in the chat. Hey, Gaming hey. says, hey, hi guys, I am back. Hello. Vindicator says, so maybe Travis was onto something all along. Maybe H and Tony Khan are the same guy. Never seen both of them in the same place at once. Hmm. They are. Sophie says, whenever I see Tony Khan, he looks high. Gaming says, it's me with a different name. It's me, Maxo. Well, hi, Maxo. Good to see ya. Sophie says, people are starting to not like AEW. But here's like, people have not been liking WWE for a while now. Bobby says, oh, it looks good in videos. People says, there is a Paramount docuseries I noticed. It's called Cyber Sleuths Idaho Murders. You should murder. probably watch it. It's probably cool. There's one, the college murders. I guess it's out. What about oh, that? they college? did that already? Mm -hmm. Damn. Gaming says, is it me or AEW is going down? <laughs> well, if you talk to Vin, it's you. But in all reality, it's not as good. It's bad. People says, do you know anything about it? Uh, the Cyber Sleuths Idaho Murders? I don't actually. What, do you know what it's, it's supposed to be about? Because if it's a certain murder, I'll know what it is. Or is it just all murders <laughs> in Idaho? Robbie says, blame Tony Khan. <laughs> Vindicator says, Joe not fighting Dustin right now. It's actually Moxley in disguise. Gross. But Robbie says, what, your neighborhood? Vindicator's like, it's just you, man. So I heard something very interesting today. You heard it or read it? Heard it. Oh, what'd you hear it on? A platform. Ooh, Anyways, cool. so Jurassic Park. Think of Jurassic Park. Get it in your head. Yeah, like the original one. Okay, so Jurassic Park really didn't create dinosaurs from DNA, right? So that's the whole thing. They took this amber, there was DNA in it, took it out, and they made... Okay. Dinosaurs. First of all, a mosquito wouldn't just bite one dinosaur. They'd bite multiples. Okay? Mm -hmm. So anyways, what they did is they created these things themselves. Okay. Mm they, they genetically engineered them. So the paleontologist, Dr. whatever his name was, remember? Mm -hmm. Then the other um, sight guy, which was um, the guy that played in The Fly. Mm -hmm. And then the girl, who was like a paleobotanist, she was a plant expert. Mm -hmm. So they genetically engineered all this stuff. The reason that they came to the island was to see if John Hammond could fool them into believing that those were the what dinosaurs looked like. Because if he could fool them, then he knew he, because they're professionals in their field, mm -hmm. then everybody that came would be fooled. Mm -hmm. If he could fool them. And that's why he brought them there. He told them it was because he wanted to check out the... But in reality, he was just saying, can we fool him? Because they didn't actually engineer them there. They engineered them on the other island. Remember the Bee Island? Uh-huh. Even though... Did he... anybody talk to the author that wrote the book that the movie was based on if this theory is what he intended? Somebody goes by that shit. Oh. Oops, logic entered the chat. Oh, I'm just... <laughs> Anyways, makes a lot of sense, huh? No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. It does not. DNA because... has a half-life of, like, 10 million years. Those are supposedly 65 million years. Okay. So... But when are other... some things preserved? Well, it can't be. Why can't it? Because it would die. Well, of course it was dead. It got stuck in sap. Right. 
just Joe. Oh, he missed. Oh, no. He made him bleed earlier, too. How No, look at these two legends. That's a stupid. 12 years ago, each of them. It's awesome. Remember when it used to be cool when old people... Oh, my like God. His, his head's opened. That's disgusting. Yeah. Well, he's old. He's like 60, so... Maybe they should stop this match. Maybe he shouldn't fight at all. Maybe he should just take it like a man. Let us and get not off. fight from underneath. Let us get out of here early tonight. Or on time. I'd be okay with that. Poor Dustin. His brother's champion. And he's nothing. I don't think he's ever been a champion. Nothing, nothing compares to you. You're nothing, nothing, nothing. Da -na 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 -na. Having a good time? Yeah, it's all right. Mm. Uh-oh. There's the elbow. Oh my gosh, that was so devastating. It was so realistic. He learned it from his dad. Hassan Terrell in the chat here. Hassan says, hi there, guys. I was WrestleMania 40 last Sunday night. It was good. It wasn't too bad. Then you hear says, well, that other company is literally relying on punk and rock to bring them more ratings. So, yeah, old hands seem to be the thing in wrestling now. Yeah, it happens. It's funny, Indicator, that you've changed your tune so much about AEW and all the swindlers. I remember a time. <laughs> Jake the Snake. <laughs> all the swindlers that were in fucking AEW. Oh, what was his name? Uh, Tully Blanchard was another one. <laughs> Arn Anderson. All of those swindlers. Sting. <laughs> More blood. Oh, God. More blood. That's what we need. We mad? Okay, we mad. He just pulled the world title out. Yeah. That's disrespectful. He doesn't uh -huh. need that. He doesn't earn that. He doesn't own that. He He's like, be I'm going to smack him with it. And then I'm going to bleed all over it. Dustin's just hoping that the crowd will be like, yes. But listen how the crowd quiet the crowd is. That's so bad. You know it's a small venue when you have crowd noise where you can hear individual people. That's true. Like, you can't. It's just. I mean, there's. Like, I feel like those people in the back are like. Cardboard cutouts. I swear. Oh wait, somebody moved. Vindicator mm -hmm. says. A flickering light. But, <laughs> but since this is just an eliminator match, which Joe will win, I will head out and jump back into the Shark Tank with you guys this time next week. Oh, That's now you're time. leaving your favorite wrestling show early, Ben. See, you're you can't be a true fan when you leave early. That's not how it works. You're a fraud. A swindling fraud. <laughs> you that dog? The one that's like... <laughs> dun, 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 dun. The, the retriever one? Like the, the one on the left? Uh-huh. He's like... <laughs> Kegel says, oh boy, I'm thinking about dessert now. I was watching one. I don't know if you've seen it, but it was a journeyman and an electrician in an attic. Oh. And they were doing their electrical, but it's they have just those dogs. Uh -huh. And then they play the audio of people arguing downstairs. And they're like, they forgot we were upstairs. It's like, <laughs> and I was fucking you ass with my dildo. <laughs> you came all over the place. You said you wouldn't say anything. <laughs> the dog's like, <laughs> Those <four> people. <laughs> that really did happen. Oh, it was pretty real. <laughs> she was all 
all sorts of yelling at him. Sometimes they, they <sighs> fake that stuff. So. Oh, I'm sure. But... Vindicator says, and yeah, swindlers are not really needed across the board, but I can't Look, infamous. he was helping He's him up so he could said, poke him out. I roll with the punches sometimes. <laughs> sure, Ben. <laughs> I was like, just Joe with a win. D couldn't believe what happened. Vinegar says, but take care, everyone. Try to stay awake for SmackDown if you can. What a chore. <laughs> Pie Vindicator. Have a good weekend. If you like UFC, their 300, their 300 is on, show is on this Saturday. The big says, one. Sorry, what did you say? Nothing. Oh, wow. Swerve just hit him with a chain. Oh, no. Not the jaw. Okay. Oh, <laughs> shit. He went to whoop him. Do we have to watch this now? It's just going to be dumb, and it's over 8 o'clock. I'm ready to leave now. <laughs> you would be. Oh, the locker room is emptying. They're like, poor Joe. Why would they have the locker room out there? That's terrible. I'll probably turn that off. <laughs> And I'll figure it out. Okay. I had it working. It was on there. I know. I just need to just cut over live, probably. I guess I... Something. Just Joe. Look at that, and Swerve's got his belt. Oh, dear. They do that a lot, where the other person steals the champion's belt. True. Remember Jay White had it, like, the whole time? Yeah. Good stuff, though. Mm. Mm. Is that humping things? That's how you do it. Is it? Yeah, you hump things. Do. Oh. I mean, you can hump things if you want. But... Mm. Looks like that's what he was doing. Just hump things. All right, everybody. Well, thanks for hanging out with us tonight. Sorry, we had such a rough start. Oh, hopefully that. It's off. not off. Um, sorry we had such a rough start tonight, but you guys have a good rest of your evening. We'll see you guys on Friday for SmackDown, though, and uh, we'll try to make sure that the audio is terrible just for Robbie's sake. All right, bye, everybody. Thanks for watching Wrestling Gab. Bye-bye.